How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here. You are watching Nature Now. So today's video is about Opiliones, um, also known as harvestmen, harvesters, or daddy long legs. These creatures are arachnids, but they're not actually spiders. It's its own group. And, well, let's have a closer look. Now, of course, a common urban myth is the fact that daddy longlegs are the most venomous arachnids on the planet or the most venomous spiders. That's not really true. Actually, they don't even have venom, let alone fangs. It can't harm humans. Now, there are over 6,000 species of harvestmen worldwide, and members of all the groups have been found on every continent except Antarctica. A cool thing about daddy longlegs is the fact that they were around from 350 to 400 million years ago and looked pretty much the same way they do today, meaning their bodies developed this shape early on in their evolution. Now they're also called shepherd spiders, and while they're not spiders, the name is actually really neat because shepherds in Europe actually used to walk around on stilts. Daddy longlegs, of course, have very long legs, looking like stilts. They also have a lot of segments or joints in their legs, more so than any other invertebrate that I can think of. And if you look closely, you can see that they can pretty much bend their legs into complete circles, especially at the tips. More joints are at the tip of their legs towards their feet than any other part of their leg. It's really neat looking. Next time you're looking at them, have a closer look. You can easily distinguish daddy long legs from spiders because they have a fused body. It's just one part. It looks like kind of like a wart with legs, as my mom says. And spiders have two parts. They have the abdomen and then the fused head and thorax part called the cephalothorax. Daddy long legs don't. As I said, it's pretty much just a wart with legs. Now, there is actually a true species of spider that we also call daddy long legs because it resembles these harvestmen. That spider has long legs, but if you look, you can clearly see that it has a separate abdomen from its cephalothorax. So it's not a true harvestman unless it has that wart-looking body with a bunch of legs. They have two eyes on a little stalk on top of their head, which kind of reminds me of a gun turret. Now being arachnids, they do have eight legs. Watching them up close is really fascinating and it almost never gets boring, especially when you watch them exploring and feeding and drinking on moss and other detritus. Harvestmen do prey on other invertebrates. I've seen them hunt little caterpillars, uh, small spiders. One time I saw one feeding on another harvestman. It's cool to watch them take a drink because it makes me think of Africa when the giraffes go up to the water's edge and then bend way down so that their mouth can actually reach the water. That's similar to how a daddy longlegs drinks. Now, as a lot of you probably already know, daddy longlegs could, of course, shed their legs very easily to escape danger. Some people, especially when they were younger, would pull their legs off deliberately. If you're still doing that now, that's really cruel. Just, just don't do it. Come on. Well, I know it's been a short video on these daddy long legs, but I hope you learned something cool and I hope you enjoyed the video. In the future, I'll probably have a more in-depth video on them with even more interesting facts and stuff. So until then, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you got to click the bell icon because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit.